Hopper TV coming to you from Quebec City in Quebec, Canada. We are right here in the heart of Quebec City. We're going to do a tour around the town. I've actually already gone around, so I already know where I'm going to go. I'm going to go around the Citadel, the waterfront. You're going to want to watch this one because it exceeded my expectations here in Quebec City. I had no idea how amazing it was. There is approximately 800,000 people that live in Quebec City metro area, 500,000 in the city itself, but they get a lot of cruise ships, so when one or two cruise ships are in town, it just swells up the, uh, the whole city, and it's basically busting at the seams in all of the major walking areas. What a great city, huh? Busy. This is just one of several areas that are just as busy. There's a few areas that get going like this. Oh, excuse me. I would say it's the crown jewel of North America. I mean, I thought Toronto was nice. It seems like the further west you go, the, the more like modern it gets the further east you go especially up into the northeast they've got some real old european style towns oh they got a mcdonald's <laughs> mcdonald's always has like premier property locations it's like when you buy mcdonald's stock you're mostly buying a real estate company it's so true because even like in Banff, for those of you who've been watching all the videos that I've done across Canada, starting in the British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, all the way over to uh, Ontario, and now here in Quebec, going over to Nova Scotia, I've gotten a real feel for Canada. Oh, I didn't know they let cars down here. And then when they do let cars, they speed like that guy. He was hauling butt. I could feel him coming up on my butt. Man. Over there is the Fairmont. We actually went over there. Cloche de Paris. This is an interesting little area. I don't know if it reminds me of Paris as much as it reminds me of uh, Geneva. Switzerland. Okay. What's your name? Geomania. What's going on here? Quebec flag. Nuclear. And those are crazy. That's the best way to get up the hill though. I rode one of those in uh, Guanajuato, Mexico. Keep on going this way too. Oh my gosh. There's a Phoenix Claire. Yeah, 
It's like a second old town here. Business is booming in Quebec City. Nice to be a business owner out here, huh? The official name of this is Quarter or Rue de Petite Champlain. French fries with bacon, cheese curds, and onions. They make them different ways, but this is a poutine right here. Okay. Well, we're a lot closer to the old town than we were. As you can see, nice little street that is. Let's keep pushing up here towards the Citadel. All right. Now we're going to Plaza de Armas. What we're looking at there, those places. Ooh. I still haven't got my beer actually. I had that poutine at that restaurant. I didn't even catch the name, but it was great. Really good poutine. Oh my gosh, what do we got going on over here? Only never ending beauty. All right, what do you got going on up here? you guys <clears throat> today is Canada Day I knew it's Canada Day but I uh, slipped my mind when I was starting the video now you know it's Canada Day it's like the uh, celebration of Canada Day <laughs> I don't know if they gained independence from anything there's a citadel up there the citadel is huge up on this hill it's like some sort of theme park or amusement park over here Look straight out there. See the Ferris wheel? These little boxes that you see here, those are like old ruins of the old city. It's like right below this boardwalk here.
Is this the old fort right here? St. Lawrence. Hmm. If you guys are enjoying this tour of Quebec City, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel as we continue to take you around. Canada, by the way, I am taking suggestions for the next destination. I'm looking to go across the Atlantic, and it looks like I'm headed towards Scandinavia. And there's some destinations in between that I might stop at. Iceland, Scotland, you know, you know how that goes. So feel free to make some recommendations in the comments. Taking this little dirt path to the top of the citadel here. <laughs> City totally reminds me of San Juan, Puerto Rico. Again, a bit of a hike. Plains de Abraham. Plains of Abraham. This view. Officially walking out of the citadel now. There's a statue of Teddy Roosevelt and Winston Churchill. This is the Gate of St. Louis. At least that's what it looks like it's called. <laughs> All right, now we've arrived at the Quebec Parliament, and this is the gardens, the parliamentary gardens. They got this nice statue. Waterfall, I mean. It is a statue with a water feature. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to kind of go through the uh, parliamentary building here in Quebec. And the gardens. Not too shabby, huh? Good old Quebec. The crown jewel of North America. It's probably what you could call it. Although, British Columbia is catching up. Man, we just came off that hill. The hill to get down from the old town is uh, quite a huck. It's really up there. They built this citadel, which is basically where the old town is, is essentially like in the middle of the citadel. It feels like it at least. The way they built it, up on the hill, probably, obviously a citadel is a fort, you know, like a fortification. Probably had some marauders trying to get up to St. Lawrence. These guys here were like the gatekeepers. I guess they were the French. The Frenchy. Let's see, this is where I arrived on the uh, train. So they got restaurants on the Marina Port Quebec over there. At least that's what it looks like. Can't tell if they're restaurants or not. Maybe they're just Port Authority. But over here you can see a great view of the city built on the hill, Quebec City. I believe that building that we're looking at right there is the Fairmont. So here we are at the old port of Quebec. What do we got going on in here? It's a 
cruise port terminal. We got cruises going. See a lot of people walking around barefoot. We got like a concert stage here. Let's see what's going on down here. We're on the waterfront, but it looks like they got like some sort of pool down here. And a bar. Cafe du Monde. The Lazy River. Taco bar. Right next to the cruise ships. Okay. That's legit. I don't even know if this is the St. Lawrence or not, but that's a huge dang ship. Wonder if you can take a ferry to Halifax from here. Or St. John, Newfoundland. Close, Ooh, so that explains why there's so many people in the town. Holland America, it's a big cruise ship. I imagine a lot of people got off that boat and went into the old town. That old town was crazy busy. Crazy busy. All right, what do we got going on here? Place de Armas. Oh, Place de Paris. Let's go in there. This road here is called Saint Jean. Another one of the cool streets. Man, that guy's a great singer. He can really rock, man. I don't know his name, but if he sees this, he should get the salute. <laughs> He's putting on a show for free for people out here. But I'm sure, you know, tipping. I don't have any coins on me and I'm working, but it's a great show, man. He had a great voice. And he had a personality too about him. Because he was like interacting with the people as they'd walk by. I see a lot of street performers, obviously. <laughs> oh, what is this? We got something going on up in this little corner. Dogs ain't having it. Well, they saw a little dog and they were like, ah, oh, what are you doing in my hood, bud? He's like, this is my hood, man. We're coming up to where we actually began the tour but for the most part we've gone around a lot of places so hope you guys enjoyed this tour of quebec city i came in on the train from montreal it was about a three and a half to four hour ride if you guys want to watch that you can check it out on my other channel vert cam just ask me in the comments for the video i'll send it it's basically the train from montreal to quebec i sat first class paid two hundred dollars Canadian or something like that. Anyway, see you guys on the next one and uh, I'm going to go to Halifax next. So we'll see you guys from Halifax.